So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a miserable morning here in Pennsylvania, and I think it's supposed to get worse throughout the day. Uh, They're actually calling for rain, then some freezing rain, but it looks like it's starting off as snow. But I'm down here at the wood yard this morning. I wanted to get a few things done before it got too bad, and then I think the rest of the day is going to be spent inside. I just pulled out this uh, big white oak log right here. This will be the next log that goes on the sawmill. Uh, this is a dandy right here, a really nice log. As you can see right here on the outside of it, it doesn't hurt anything at all. But this is real punky, about the first, about the first inch of this log. You can kind of see it right there. That part has gone bad, but that doesn't matter one bit. This is a nice big clear log. Uh, it's about 31 inches in diameter. 10 feet, 6 inches long. That log right there weighs, as it sits, probably right around 35, 3,600 pounds. And by the way, the excavator handles these things really well. Even swinging over the side like this and reaching out with it starts to get just a little bit tippy, but uh, that works really well for pulling those logs out of the pile. This one here, I'm not 100% sure yet. I've got some ideas for it. Uh, we'll probably saw some... Uh, four quarter stuff and also some six quarter i have some plans for it uh it should work out really good should be really nice clear wood white oak one of my favorite woods uh goes in this order cherry walnut white oak then red oak those were some of my favorite woods now without a doubt my least favorite nasty gnarly elm it even stinks it smells horrible Splits horrible. It's stringy. It burns well, but I don't like anything about elm to tell you the truth. But anyway, right now I'm going to head up to the house here in a little bit. Melissa has to go to the chiropractor. I'll probably take her to that. And we may even go out to lunch. We'll see what happens. And then probably end up doing something inside the rest of the day. There you go, Melissa. This is the uh, second order of shirts and hoodies that. Uh, we're shipping today, but we're getting ready to go take you to the chiropractor. Yeah. What's the matter, Melissa? Why do you need the chiropractor? Just need an alignment, you know? Shoulders, back. My left side's always screwed up. My my left shoulder, my left hip. So, it, actually, it was starting to bother my thumb even. So, <laughs> yeah. And then I have a hair appointment tomorrow morning. Um, but... You know, press on. I've been pressing shorts, so here they go. I was thinking, uh, we still have a bunch of pictures left to go of tractor pictures. Okay. And as you can tell, it's a miserable day. It's, yeah. It's been so I'm going to take her to the chiropractor, might get some lunch. All right. And you can enjoy the last of the tractor pictures. The last hurrah. We may do this again next year. We'll see. But uh, as John Ritter says, tractor on. Keep on tractoring. Oh, keep on tractoring. Sorry, John. That's what he says. All right. I'll All be right. right back. All right. Don't fall. <laughs> Don't say that. Mm -hmm. 